So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the Polaroid 110A and a little bit about what's special about these cameras. But I also wanted to update you on the um, Pay It Film Word giveaway. Um, so far there's probably like 10 or 15 people that have given a friend a camera. So I think like that's so awesome. I'm so stoked about it and you guys are doing awesome. Uh, today I went and gave a camera to a friend of mine. Uh, who's been wanting to get started and uh, you know it feels good it's a good feeling uh, the camera is not something I'm gonna miss and now he has you know this awesome camera that he's gonna go home and get all the dust off of and do research on and I think that's I think it's just so awesome because I know the feeling of getting your first camera and there's nothing like it you, you're really never gonna get your first camera twice you can only get it one time so uh, I hope he enjoys it, and I really hope that the people that you guys are giving cameras to enjoy it as well. Um, I think I've decided that we're probably going to just do a drawing. There's one issue, though. I'm going on Instagram to search the hashtag, and it shows me the top posts, and then it shows me the most recent posts. But I have no way of looking at all of the posts. It just says top post and most recent, and like it says 28 total but I'm only seeing like 15 in each section. So I don't know, that's kind of frustrating. I'm gonna have to figure figure that out because I wanna be able to make sure that everyone's involved. Um, also, uh, I was thinking that I'm, I really wanna to get to this 100, 100 person goal. So um, I'm thinking that after we get to 50, cause I know we're gonna to get to 50. Once we get to 50 people, I think I'm gonna do the drawing for the camera then. And then, um, even if even if it's on Thursday, if we get to 50 on Thursday, I'm going to do that drawing for the first camera then. So those first 50 eager people can be in, in line for the for, for that camera. And then that second 50, we're gonna, I'm going to do for the other camera. So we could, uh, I want to try to get both of them out there and then, uh, you know, give everybody a chance to uh, win a TLR. So that's kind of my idea. Um, and also in the light or in the, um, the same spirit of pay film word, I wanted to talk about these cameras. That's why these are here. Um, so in the film community, we, um, you know, film photographers always talk with one another and, you know, you make friendships all over the country. And I've made uh, a friend out of uh, a guy named Dave Prutzman. I think he's uh, PA underscore Dave on Instagram. And, uh, Really cool guy. He's into BMX. He's got a baby. I got a baby. And uh, he bought a camera from me, and I was telling him about my Polaroid 110A 4x5 I wanted to make. Um, just sharing something I was excited about. And he said, you know, I've got one of those cameras. Uh, I got it a while back. I don't really have the means to shoot 4x5. Um, I'd really like to mail it to you to see what it's capable of. So that's what this beauty is uh this is a really official polaroid 110a conversion with a 3d printed back and uh i mean beautiful inside and out and i'm so excited to shoot this thing and honestly i'm kind of intimidated by it because i'm going to try to build this into a 4x5 uh so i'm going to talk to you guys about that as well but i just got to check on my timer i apologize i'm always developing film when i'm making videos so i can kind of kill two birds with one stone so I hope you guys don't don't mind it you're gonna have to get used to it because that's what I do when I'm down here so um, so yeah I just wanted to talk about the film community it's one of my favorite parts about being a film photographer um, is we have a smaller community of that's a little more tight-knit you could uh, start to recognize people's names who are active in the community and make friendships worldwide even um you know i've got friends in germany that i've got a buddy in germany that i facetime once a week and we just talk about film and and talk shit on each other and it is just the best it's the best so um i would say you know the the best thing about film photography is making friends with other film photographers get out there and you know comment on someone's photo and say i like this about it or i like that about it and uh you know who knows it might result in something else it might result in uh, a buddy sending you a camera to shoot you know that's awesome i'm, I'm going to talk to you guys a little more about this and this um, i'm just going to take a quick second to dump my fixer so give me one minute oh look at that okay so i've got my film in the dryer and i'm ready to tell you guys about these cameras so this is a polaroid 110a they were released in the early 50s they were made until 1964 um, this camera used Type 40 instant roll film. How that works, I can't even tell you because I've, I've never seen the back of it. But 
One thing I do know is that these were like the professional level camera for that film type. They had you know lower levels that didn't have quite as much control, but these cameras have a 127 millimeter Rodenstock lens with full manual control. So basically, you know, that's like a large format lens on this Polaroid camera. Anyways, after after this film got discontinued, these cameras basically just sat around with no purpose. And uh, there, you know, there was nothing you could do with them because the film was no longer available, which is common for a lot of different film cameras. And uh, but the, you know, they were so capable with this with this lens. So people started adapting these cameras to shoot four x five sheet film, uh, one hundred series pack film, and some people even adapted them to shoot um, like medium format roll film. So I think that's really cool because the one thing that's special about these cameras is that there's not really another 4x5 in the whole entire market that does the same job that the 110A does, which is a handheld 4x5 rangefinder that's actually convenient to use. You know, this this camera was intended to be used, you know, on the fly, if you will, and because of that, it's it's like a more capable 4x5 four, four than any other camera would be that has a rangefinder, you know, like your, if you had a crown graphic with a rangefinder, that's a huge 4x5 camera that's not ergonomically made to be held on the fly. It's a tripod camera. And because of that, the, the kind of photos you're going to get are different. And um, for 4x5, there's not really a handheld instant option other than maybe a Graflex RB, which, again, is very cumbersome and still doesn't give you the, the capability um, that this camera has to get the candid shots or you know things on the fly. So I want to give you guys a little look. This is a you know I don't know who made this back. Like I said, this was sent to me from a friend, um, but it's a 3D printed back with um, this plastic holder that loosens up just a little bit. And I'll show you guys one second. I'll show you guys how a holder goes in there because it's pretty neat. And you just slide your holder in. Let's see if it'll fit. Yep, maybe I need, need to take this off more. I, I have not used it yet. I just got it yesterday. And uh, I did kind of want to take some photos with it before making the video. But uh, I have to... That's going to take a little time. So let's see. We slide this in here. Like so. Maybe... You guys are doing this with me. Maybe I have to take this plate all the way off. See this slides that way. It's a tight fit, that's for sure. But that's not a bad thing. Definitely not a bad thing. So yeah, we get it in there. Man, it is snug. And then we put this on like that. No, like this. We're doing this together, guys. We're figuring it out as we go because that's how this works. <laughs> So let's see, we slide that in, boom, tighten that on, tighten that on, put this one on this side. So that is how this goes on, oh wow, look how beautiful that looks, and you know, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys, this looks so damn good that I don't know how I'm going to even build this camera. I'm a little intimidated by it. Um, I've noticed that there's quite a bit of distance from the actual camera body to the film plane and that's something I'm a little bit worried about when I'm converting this because I wonder how I'm going to create that distance to get full coverage on a 4x5 sheet. That's the, that's the tricky thing about this camera is to get full coverage on a 4x5 sheet uh, apparently you have to be a real badass with computer stuff and a 3D printer because this thing is absolutely gorgeous, perfect. Look at that. So that is how this is going to look. Uh, man, I'm so excited to shoot this thing. So there's that. Here is my $70 Polaroid 110 that I found. Um, it looks like it got left out in the rain. <laughs> it's got some crushed bellows that are hanging in there. Um, the lens is clean, but the outside of it's pretty yucky. Um, I went through the process of removing the back door, which was um, violent and destructive. And... Uh, <laughs> So now I've got the back door off, and I found this device on eBay for 25 bucks. 
Um, it was like a, originally a sliding 4x5 holder so you could do split frame, half and half. I don't know. It's very, very heavy. This thing was like 6 pounds, the, the box it came in. And so I don't know if I'm going to take these rails off and try to adapt them on here or what. But this is my 4x5 spring back. And this is kind of how I was hoping to adhere my 4x5 holder onto this camera. Something like that. I don't know. I've really got my work cut out for me. That's why I kind of wanted to show you guys this camera and this project before I really got started. So then when I show you the finished product, you could um, you know respect it a little bit more. And, uh, and I also wanted to talk to you guys about Dave's generosity sending this to me so then I could show you guys in the next video some results. Um, and on that note, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I think I've been, I've been wanting to do like a, a Q&A video. I don't really, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm somewhat new to YouTube and I don't really know how this Q&A thing works. So I'm going to say in this video, if you're watching, put some comments down below, ask me some questions. Uh, and then next video, when I post the results of um, the, this camera, it'll also be like the answers to the Q&A. It'll be like Q&A answers with, oh, by the way, here's some results from the Polaroid. Because, um, yeah, I, I mean, you guys probably have a lot of questions for me. You could ask me whatever you want, personal questions, photography questions. Um, ask me whatever. But I want to get more connected with you guys because I'm really starting to um, try to do this more frequently because I'm getting good feedback. Um, I'm really enjoying all the comments you guys are making, even uh, the, the good and the bad ones. I appreciate it. I see you guys. Um, and it's, it's just so awesome that you guys are engaging and that even, even if we just get a few more people into shooting film, that is enough for me to keep making videos. So, um, just since the last video, we've got at least 10 new members. So I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy about how good this contest is going. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the Polaroid 110A before I shot it and, uh, showed you guys some results. So... That is that. That's the Polaroid 110A. Um, I'm going to give you guys a more in-depth review after I actually shoot it and kind of get a feel for it. So keep an eye out for that. But I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, look forward to a couple more videos in the future. I'm probably going to do a couple more this week even talking about the giveaway and whatnot. Keep you guys posted. But anyways, that's enough for me. Uh, until next time, you guys, thanks for watching and keep on shooting.